I want to show you how to use something called the direct comparison test. It's probably the simplest of all the tests for convergence or divergence. So let's start by assuming we know the behavior of a particular series. We know that it's infinite. And we're trying to discover the behavior of another series, but we notice that term by term that the b ends are greater than or equal to the a ends for all n greater than or equal to 1. Meaning term by term these are bigger. So now if I said every term is bigger and we're going to add them up, then that would lead to the sum of the b ends being greater than the sum of the a ends. But because these were already infinite, this sum will be infinite. So think of it this way. I made an infinite amount of money last year and you made more than me. Can we conclude you made an infinite amount? Yes, we can. So now let's look at the situation where the sums are finite. So now let's consider that we know that we have a particular sum and we'll say L is finite but it is positive. Now I have another series, let's call it again BN, and I know that term by term all of my BNs are smaller than the ANs but all the BNs are non-negative. So term by term they're smaller but still positive. If this is the case, then again we can conclude and since this series converged, this is going to converge but to an even smaller amount. So it would be like saying last year I made a finite amount of money you made less than me, but it was still a positive amount of money. Then we can conclude that you made a finite amount of money. Now look on Canvas for the notes that are posted. I did several examples of this. Look under direct comparison test.